Contract mode is a uh, a mode where you can, as a player, go in and create your own hit and share it with your friends and share it online. And uh, you can select any character from the entire game and any area of the game that you want to make your hit in and then you can go in and you design it by yourself and as you cr as you play through the game yourself selecting your target that's also the way that you create it so after you play through your session and escape the live you'll be able to go in and kind of edit your content saying that which are the conditions that you want to be met to add extra bonus to your playthrough but essentially it's basically just making a kind of a classical hitman hit uh, by yourself. Something that we wanted to do in IO was to take our, you say, our, our story mode uh, or absolution, as we call it, and create kind of new stories within that. And we could, there is like a number of of characters in the game that we wanted to explore a little more. And in the section we showed here today, there was like there's this kind of real asshole sergeant that that everybody hates and everybody wanted him to just go away. So then we created this contract from uh, from one of his subordinates that wanted him dead to kind of fit into the fantasy of the game world and uh, being an interesting uh, new way of playing through that section of the game. And we've been doing that throughout the entire game. So we have a number of, you can say, uh, IO created contracts that will ship with the game. But as our players and our community are creating better contracts than us, I think that will happen within days probably of release. We will probably replace our own with these uh, these kind of new and improved contracts from the game. If you want to create something unique that uh, kind of fits your playstyle in the game, then you can do that within contracts. So if you are a yeah, you can say a perfectionist and you're going for something that is really really difficult, like uh, lining up three guys and and making a headshot with a sniper, you can do that within co within contracts mode, and and create that as a challenge to your friends. Um, but if you just want to have fun with it, then kind of select a, a, like a chicken costume and a machine gun and go in and just kind of go crazy. You can do that as well. It's all up to you as to which kind of content you want to create. Contracts mode, it is a very social mode and it's, uh, I would say, sharing your scores on the leaderboards is, uh, is a really big part of that because there is a very competitive part of Hitman and how you are playing through the game, the choices that you make is something that will shape your experience and also your score. So if you're choosing to play through, you know, in a more kind of stealthy way or using disguises, that's all things that will imp uh, impact your score and impact your, your, uh, your, uh, your leaderboards. And so every single contract has their own leaderboards. And on top of that, there is, you can say, a total score where if you're the most kind of, you make the most popular contracts or you have the most money in total or you're just the best hitman in the world, basically. That is also something you can kind of uh, boast about. And also, the money that you earn within the contracts you can use to buy outfits and, uh, and uh, weapons that you can then bring into contracts and you can say make part of your experiences as you create your own content. For Hitman it was really difficult to just take like a traditional multiplayer and, and fit it into the game because the way you play a Hitman game is so much about you against the game. You can say the choices that you make is something that shape your experience. So we wanted to tap into that instead and seeing what the fans were doing online with the old games, they were always kind of trying to outdo each other in, in ways of playing through the game and we said that's, that's something that we can use. And because the AI of a Hitman game is very complex, every single character is something they have, they have to be able to react to anything the player can do. There's nothing scripting that we can do to kind of, uh, because, because we have to keep the experience open. Selecting different characters as a target is something that the engine can do from the get-go. There's a lot of ways of taking down your targets in, uh, in Absolution and uh, using like traditional uh, weapons like, like firearms and, and knives and stuff, there are kind of abundance of them in the game. But there's also more kind of non-traditional weapons like uh, what we call improvised weapons you can find around the level that you can pick up and use. You can also set up different kind of traps. There is uh, different kind of heavy things suspended around uh, in the air and there are things that can be sabotaged uh, like uh, fences that can be electrified so there's all these kind of emergent kind of accidents waiting to happen around the game world and if you can lure your target over there you can use that as a way of taking out your target as well. Hitman Solution is coming out on November 20th for Xbox 360, uh, PS3 and PC.